I'm excited today. We have got a killer 1969 Ford Mustang Mach 1. This car has just a few hundred miles on a rotisserie nut and bolt restoration. I chose this car because of the colors, winter blue, white interior, VIN number match, M code 351 four barrel, four speed transmission. The car has a Marty report. It is stunning. Go to volocars.com. That's where you can find price tags on every car we have for sale. We have about 200 right now, and each one will have a monthly payment as well. But for right now, join me. Let's go for a spin. Yeah, I was at a show in Florida. There was actually three Mach 1s. All three of them were claimed to be rotisserie restored. One of them I didn't like at all, just ruled it right out. Another one was white with a black interior. It just didn't grab me, and it wasn't as nice as this one. I'll be honest, I bought the most expensive of the three because of the whole package. You want these colors and, and this quality? Yeah, it does come with a price tag. Uh, anyway, the fit and finish is outstanding. This is absolutely straight, better than factory. I put the windows up on purpose. I'm going to do my uh, shut the door test with the windows up, and it still shuts like a new car. The sleekest lines of any car, I think, is the 69 Fastback. Got the little dovetail in back that swoops up. But anyway, all of this is continuing to be absolutely straight. No rust, no damage, no cracking, no bubbles, no shrinkage, bodywork, none of that from what I'm seeing. It's all outstanding. Shuts so nice. Got the sport mirrors. I mean, coming down the pillars, there's no cracks, no damage, no dents, no waves. Outstanding body and paint. One year only, winter blue. This car was born this color. The metal flake is laid out evenly. It has a polished, uh, high gloss finish throughout. Has the matte black uh, hood. Uh, the scoop is actually functional, the air goes into the engine compartment, has turn signals at the back of it, they work, I checked them. Uh, this hood comes with the racing pins, and all of this is in excellent shape. Up front here, all the chrome, the trim, all real nice, I mean excellent I should say. New correct antenna. All the glass is real nice and clear, there might be a little I almost called it all new glass, but if you look hard enough, you can find a little hairline scratch, but all real nice clear glass that fits nice. All the stainless and trim is shiny. The chrome right here is new, all looking really good. Door handles are new. They did add a rear spoiler to it. And now these decal stripes are actually reflective. Uh, you hit them at night with a bright light and they light up like you turned them on. The emblems, gas cap, bumper, all of that is really nice. All looking really good. Uh, 15 by 8 chrome Magnum 500 wheels with BF Goodrich tires on it. Just take a, another second to really appreciate the lines, the scoops. Uh, this car is amazing. Got a lot more to show you. Let's get inside the car. All right, I'm going to show you a finished trunk compartment. Look at underneath how slick it's painted. The latch looks like new. The sticker's replaced. The weather strip is new. The jam, all nice and clean. Factory seams and splices, all painted real slick. You know they're not cheap when they buy a fifth matching tire. This is a new tire, never used on a Magnum wheel. has a complete jack assembly. The entire inside is all painted blue. All the wiring, everything's neat, tidy, and clean. Uh, new mat. Now it's a fold down back seat, so this door actually opens and goes right into the interior of the car. Probably rattles. That's probably what that piece of paper was for right there. Now they added the spoiler so the trunk lid doesn't stay up. So, like the Boss cars, the cars that had spoilers. I uh, have like this little hinge that can be installed. So if you want us to uh, put that on, uh, let the salesman know that Jay said it's okay. Oh, I better not put the keys in there. What am I doing? 
Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click the bell icon. You'll be notified when the new videos are posted. Yeah, I'm really happy with this purchase. This is a nice car we got us here. Door jams are slick. Weather strips fit right. Latches are clean. Born with the white interior. That meant so much to me when I bought this car, the blue with the white. It's a deluxe interior. Door panels were all replaced. Uh, it's the molded door panel. Working uh, interior lights in the armrest. The whole dash area is mint. A new dash pad. All the wood grain trim. The actual lenses and bezels and gauges. 425 miles that's since it was restored. All this is mint. Again, new dash pad. Does have an AM FM radio. It didn't turn on for me. We don't spend much time on radios, but uh, it is the AM FM. All this is super nice and clean. Working interior lights, new carpet, has the pony mats. And we have a real nice console here. Original sheet, uh, seat belts, all real nice white upholstery on the high back bucket seats. It's all part of the deluxe interior. Again, fold down back seat. That's an option. A lot of them were just standard back seats. Look how all the chrome is sparkling. It's got to be new. And then you fold the seat up. Second here in that. We gotta move this seat forward. Voila, now you've got your seat all excellent. Matching seat belts, all the trim is excellent. Dome lights work. It has a white headliner in excellent shape, not wrinkled or torn. Got the shoulder belts, the visors look real nice. Another cool feature is the steering wheel it's a reproduction it's a rim blow the horn is on the rim of the steering wheel you think wow that's a neat feature well they eliminated it because sometimes when you're turning the car around a corner you squeeze it and you honk it uh, but it's a neat feature and it's cool to see that it works yeah go to volocars.com see our complete inventory <clears throat> so this engine apartment was all apart and restored this is not a spray can special this was all redone this is the VIN number matching 351 <clears throat> it's an M code in the serial number so it's a four barrel Windsor correct reproduction date code uh, date coded auto light um, spark plug wires you can see everything's painted nicely, not a spray can special. It's all beautiful. Look at the entire firewall and the supports and the inner fenders, all the nuts, bolts. Everything's real nice. Battery is bolted down. All the components look real good. It has reproduction hose and clamps. Now, all the hoses look like the reproduction. The radiator, the shroud, everything, the pulleys are clean. It came from the factory, according to the Marty report, with power steering and power brakes, two desirable options. The squirters are hooked up. Under the hood's painted, and I told you that fresh air comes right into the motor. I don't recall seeing it open on other ones, so someone did a really neat job of cutting it open. It just lets some fresh air into the engine. This is show quality uh, equipment here, folks. And again, it's VIN number match engine. You do not find that very often. Michael's going to take you out and show you what she's got. Go ahead. Everybody, beautiful day here. Got a beautiful car, so let's go for a cruise.
Today it's the 1969 Ford Mustang. It's the Mach 1 and it's just a totally sweet car. About 430 miles since a complete frame off restoration and this one seems like it was really done right. See we got these bumps here on the road. Seems to be taking care of them with no problem. No excessive rattling or anything like that. This is the 351 with the four speed manual. So it should be a fun little ride here. It does have power steering, power brakes. It has disc brakes up front as well. I'm not gonna be able to see around that car. But yeah, it's chilly today. So we do have the, uh, the heaters on and that's working well. We do have the turn signal indicators that are on the hood, on the scoop there. Those are working as well as on the dashboard. Gauges, amp gauge works well. Uh, fuel gauge and temp. Also oil pressure showing good. So we're good in that department. Don't forget if you'd like to uh, come test drive this car yourself, you're absolutely more than welcome to do so. We're about an hour drive outside of Chicago and about a 30 minute drive outside of O'Hare International Airport if you need to fly in, you give it a spin. Let's see what she's got right now. And just like that, up to speed, no problem. Awesome car, great rever, it's a super tight rever. I really like the acceleration on this one. Feels good. Again, the steering feels great. The suspension, everything about it. Clutch is nice on this one. Really good car all, all the way around. Seems like they put you know extra time and effort into dialing it in nicely. And yeah, it's pretty apparent in the way that it looks as well. Great car. Great sounding exhaust on this one. Not overbearing on the exhaust, but just enough to, to let them know that you got something here. Effortless steering. Really nice, well put together car. Check it out in detail at volocars.com. just as beautiful underneath. This car was flipped on a rotisserie. Every component was removed, restored, rebuilt, detailed. So all the front end steering and suspension all looks brand new. Again, nice, smooth, shiny finishes. Uh, rear suspension all rebuilt as well. Um, disc brakes in front, drum and back. That would be an option. I think they were still drum brakes uh, as standard. All that system's been redone. The fuel system's all replaced. Uh, it has a dual exhaust system with Flowmaster mufflers as the correct quad tips coming out through the rear valance. Um, primered floors, all clean, rust-free floors and frame rails, and they're done in the red oxide primer. That's the way they would have left the factory, and it's all nice and clean. You look up at the motor, it's spotless. Uh, you know, all the components, the starter, the fuel pump, all that's real nice. When I say VIN number match, it's actually stamped on the back of the engine. Can't tell you how many people tell me, yeah, it's numbers match, and I check it once you get it home, because it's really hard to check, and it's not. This is number match. The picture is on our website. This was born a manual car, but it was a three-speed, so they did upgrade it to a four-speed. It is a correct top loader transmission drive shaft is redone has its original 325 gear rear end everything is detailed like factory the assembly line markings were put back in place uh, this is real close to concourse a, a real concourse winner would have reproduction tires and the right battery so there's a few little things you could deduct but they did go out of their way to restore this car to factory specs 
the body and paints nicer. Go to volocars.com. That's where you can get in touch with the salesman. They'll help answer your questions, uh, including how to get this delivered to your door, how to get it financed. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you want to uh, be texted when new arrivals show up, text the word new to 844-592-2431. Thanks for watching.